Yo, guys, this video is outrageous, son. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, we laughed all the way through this entire video. I hope y'all guys enjoy. If y'all guys like this type of content, let me know in the video. I appreciate you clicking on. I know it's not the normal type of content from the channel, but I do plan on throwing it in the rotation more and more if people like it. I mean, I think it's funny. It's a different change of pace. Y'all just let me know. I just want to say, please consider joining over on Twitch where we react to these kind of things live. It's the second link in the description. And if y'all guys want to get videos like this early or videos of reaction, or, or requesting in anything like that consider joining over on patreon and supporting the channel other than that i hope y'all guys enjoy the video it's crap it's so stupid this is pretty much um the pheromone of a female grade ape while they're on their menstrual cycle uh <laughs> oh man the editing is so on point bro um the pheromone of a female grade ape while they're on their menstrual cycle a female gorilla, a female orang that are on their period. And Bigfoot is a great ape as well. So hopefully this will entice them or intrigue them. How did you get this? Actually, I got this from a guy. He, yeah. From a guy. <laughs> you know what the editing reminds me of? It reminds me of the editing for Barstool Sports. You see the guy with the long hair that interviews like, like celebrities, but he has dumb questions. That's what the editing reminds me of. Sasquatch pheromone chips. As far as our genetics go, we're what? about 99% related to a chimpanzee or something like that. It's not too far off to say that we can't breed in a breed with them. But it has to. What? Okay, Decon, you're in you're in genetics right now, right? Tell us how important that 1% is cuz I think people don't realize that that 1% is the most important part. Oh man. Bro, we have we share like 70% genetics with trees. Motherfucker just wants to breed with with monkeys so badly. We're what? About 99% related to a chimpanzee or something like that. It's not too far off to say that we can't breed in a breed with them. It's not too off, too far off to say we can't interbreed with them. Can you even breed with your with your with your sister and brother? Y'all don't have exactly the same genetics either. Literally, we all share the same genetics with everything on Earth that's living. I think we share like 90%. That's why we use rats for fucking testing. There has to be hybrids in order for their species to be able to thrive. Are you scared yet? No, are you scared? We use pigs more? No. Didn't know that. How the fuck does he keep a straight face through this entire thing? Come out, come out and play. Pops. <laughs> You're not gonna give out their position. Bro, this editing is fucking hilarious. The super crunched out saturation on the name and then the girl saying it so softly. Dylan. They know we're here. If there is a family group that's in here, maybe they're thinking like, hey, whoa, what's going on? You know, they're smart. Minnesota Bigfoot <laughs> research team. Are you ready for this, Andrew? Should I be scared? It's nothing to be scared of. Oh, you hear that? Minnesota. This is not a side of YouTube that I ever thought that I would ever see or even think to look of. If you ask me, what would a squad of dudes who are searching for Bigfoot look like? I'm like 99% sure I would land on this. Minnesota Bigfoot research team. It's been a crazy year, 2020, right? I was beginning to lose my mind. So I drove my camper van as far north as I could. 
I stumbled across a small town with a secret too big to hide. So I hit the streets to find some answers and figure out what the hell is going on in Reamer, Minnesota. I've smashed a monster can that wasn't opened over my head and it didn't bust open right away, so I had to do it twice and it hurt, <laughs> but I didn't care. My dad was born like on 9-11, like his birthday is 9-11. My dad's pretty fucking scary. My name is Joshua. Huh? My name is Joshua Townley. I'm 14 years old. My favorite video game is Black Ops 2, Call of Duty, and my favorite rapper is YNW Melly. Yeah. They both check out, but Black Ops 2 is goaded. My fucking favorite rapper is YNW Melly. All these pussy niggas hating trying to knock me off my grind. I <laughs> oh man, not the 14 year old white boy from Bigfoot, Minnesota throwing down the N word. I can't let him do it. I got murder on my mind. I like J. Cole. I think she's full of shit. <laughs> so they call Reamer the home of Bigfoot. How do you guys feel about that? Bigfoot isn't real. I've never yeah. seen it. Just walking around. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bigfoot isn't real. I'm if you don't like Trump, then you probably won't like me, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Bars. Bigfoot is not real. Bigfoot is not real. No. Why not? I don't know. I do believe in Swamp Ape, but not necessarily Bigfoot. It's a mock, like mockery of just a small town making it into something to make money. I mean, we're on the border of a reservation, and all of a sudden now we got Bigfoot. Cool. Every person in this town had a rhyme or reason for why this thing wasn't real and why I wasn't a good enough journalist to get this job done. But in the 11th hour, I met a badass motel owner with the balls to tell me the truth. Where have I been my whole life on YouTube? I've watched YouTube since like its inception in like 04. Why have I never stumbled upon this side of YouTube? If they're saying they're non-believers, they haven't stepped out from their office or off their couch. You know, I've, I've had sightings, you know, I've seen three, three screams, two whistles and a knock. And then I whistled back and I got another whistle, then I got a wood knock and then a sneeze. What if all he's doing is hearing the other fucking group research team doing it back to him? Then there was a sneeze. God dang it. It's more intriguing than anything, but it's... Why does that lake look like a limp penis? Hey, yo. Use code Ernest on Roman.com, get 0% off. It's frustrating in the same breath because I can't seem to pin these things down. They're not stupid, not by any means. We're not the only bipedal intelligence here. Yes, we are. Do you think every single person is lying or do you think they've seen some? Bigfoot, the real Bigfoot, he was hairy and furry and big. He must move fast because people see him in other states. I was just out going out my deer stand and he came up, looked all shrunk in and like looked like he was hungry and I was like, what, what do you need? And he just went, uh -huh, like that. My first experience with Bigfoot, I was 16 years of age back in 1976. Have you ever been on, in, a gar in a garbage dump with his rotten fish? Yes. That's what it smells like. We were chilling in the woods, you know, smoking a blunt and fucking hello, just noise, bro. From the woods and rustles and shit. I fucking love this kid right here, bro. I love this kid. Bigfoot are very sensitive souls. Bigfoot lives matter. Well, they had the riots and the looting, and uh, since they were okay to have protests there, we thought, well, we can have a protest here too. <laughs> so is there one Bigfoot or is there multiple big feet? Multiple big feet throughout the whole United States except for Hawaii. What? <laughs> the man turned it into plural. Big feet. <laughs> Multiple big feet throughout the whole United States except for Hawaii. Why? Well, Hawaii is a volcanic island. It wasn't a part of Pangea when all the continents were together. How many big feet do you think are currently active in the continental United States? I would I would say over 50,000. 50,000? That bitch don't know about Pangea. Maybe they'll feel more comfortable as the sun's setting to come a little more closer and approach us. Hopefully we'll get a young one coming. Who knows? Lamp, lamp, lamp. <laughs> We were definitely being followed. What we seen was something big and dark, and it was kind of doing an emotion like this. Pretty likely we had a class A. What do you think it was? I think it was Bigfoot. So you guys were right behind us, and you saw Bigfoot, and we didn't. As soon as you guys got over, we looked back and gone.
Are you are you disappointed that you <laughs> are you disappointed yes, you didn't you didn't yes. see Bigfoot? I am. I am. I, I mean, it, it's it, it's bittersweet, it, and that's the story of my life, the way it's been for the past twenty some years now. That's classic Sasquatch behavior. Squatch on! Ain't no way. That's how he ended the video. <laughs> Classic Sasquatch behavior is to not ever be seen by anyone ever. That's a real uh, Schrodinger's cat situation, huh? Man, the opening of this video, though. This is pretty much um, the pheromone of a female grade ape, whether on their menstrual cycle. <laughs> Bro, did I tell you or did I tell you? Anyway, I appreciate y'all guys watching this. If you made it this far in the video, consider liking and leaving a comment down below as well as subscribing. This type of content will become more regular on this channel. Also, there's other videos like that, vlogs, non-music content. I'll put like a I'll put it somewhere on here along with the subscribe. But I appreciate your time and I'll catch y'all guys in the next video.